A blessed and vibrant morning, dear virtual learners. Welcome to another episode of A Fun Learning Engagement. This is Palazuela Live TLE 8. Stay tuned in as you will surely learn skills that will definitely develop your abilities as a student. So get your pen, notebook, and module and make it a habit to write important details from our learning journey. Your attendance and active participation in this learning engagement is highly appreciated. So don't forget to type in your name, section, teacher, and school in the comment box. We will be using the learning material prepared by Mr. Joanne M. Daco, a master teacher from Vicente P. Trinidad National High School. For today's learning engagement, we will mainly focus on this most essential learning competency, interpret working plans and sketches. Specifically, we will identify the types of pictorial drawing, illustrate the different types of pictorial drawing, and adopt the skills in creating pictorial drawing following the job requirements. Are you now ready to learn? Let's now begin with our first task, entitled Deal or No Deal. I will read the statement and you will type deal if the statement is correct, and no deal if the statement is incorrect. I will give you 5 seconds to comment your answer below. Are you ready learners? Kindly key in a heart emoji if you're ready. Let's start. Grade 8 learners, deal or no deal. Here is the first statement. There are three vanishing points in oblique perspective. Is it deal or no deal? And the correct answer is, it's a deal. Here is the second statement. Axonometric pictorial drawing includes parallel, angular, and oblique. Is it a deal or no deal? And the correct answer is, it's no deal. It should be perspective. Next, we have here the third statement. Diametric is a kind of technical drawing that shows a three-dimensional cube with one side of the cube smaller in proportion to the other two sides. Is it a deal or no deal? And the correct answer is, it's a deal. Great job, grade 8 learners. We will deal in all of those statements today, for we will learn everything about pictorial drawing. Mechanical drawing describes the shapes of an object completely and exactly using orthographic views. Although there are six principal views that can be drawn in an object, only the three regular views are normally required in the preparation of a working plan. Pictorial drawing is the oldest written method of communication. It shows objects three-dimensionally and can be viewed and understood by individuals with no background in engineering or architectural design. This lesson will expose you to the basics of what the engineers, architects, draftsmen, and product developers usually draw. Pictorial drawing shows likeness of an object in terms of its shape as viewed by the observer. A view of an object as it would be seen by an observer who looks at this object either in a chosen direction or from a selected point of view. It represents a portion of the object and shows the method of its construction. 
There are different types of a pictorial drawing. It includes axonometric drawing, oblique drawing, and perspective drawing. Let's start with axonometric drawing. An axonometric drawing focuses on the axis of an object. There are three types of axonometric drawing. The isometric, diametric, and trimetric drawing. Isometric drawing is a pictorial drawing showing the three surfaces of the object and tilted 30 degrees in front of the observer. In the drawing, you will see a cube showing us the three surfaces, the top, the left, and the right. Next is Dimetric Drawing. Dimetric drawing shows a three-dimensional cube, with one side of the cube smaller in proportion to the other two sides. This type is not widely used. Here is a picture of a dimetric drawing. Let's proceed to the third. The third type of axonometric pictorial drawing is trimetric drawing. Trimetric drawing is an axonometric projection wherein a cube is positioned in the way that no axes and angles are equal when projected to the plane projection. The picture shown a trimetric drawing. We're done with axonometric drawing. Let's proceed now to the oblique pictorial drawing. Oblique pictorial drawing focuses on the scale of an object. And there are three types of oblique pictorial drawing. The cavalier drawing, the cabinet oblique, and the general oblique. The first is cavalier drawing. Cavalier drawing, it is an oblique drawing in which the depth axis lines are full scale or in full size. In the drawing, you will see there that there is a full size. Next is the cabinet drawing or the cabinet of oblique. The depth axis lines are drawn up scale. So here is the picture of the cabinet oblique. So you will see there at the at the end. Uh, at the other end, we will see there that the picture is a cavalier drawing which has a full scale. And this one is the cabinet oblique which has a one-half size. Let's proceed now to the third oblique pictorial drawing which is the general oblique. General oblique the depth axis lines vary from one half to full size. Meaning to say that this general oblique can only be in the middle of cavalier and the cabinet oblique. Here is the picture of a general oblique. This general oblique can actually be the half or in full size. But normally it is in the middle of the two. We're done with the oblique pictorial drawing. Now, let's proceed with the third type of pictorial drawing, which is the perspective pictorial drawing. Perspective pictorial drawing, the only thing you have to think is the vanishing point. There are three types of pictorial drawing, parallel, angular perspective, and oblique perspective. Parallel perspective or the one-point perspective is a perspective drawing using one vanishing point. The front view is drawn in its true shape in full size or scale. Vanishing point is a point at which receding parallel lines seem to meet when represented in linear perspective. 
this is the vanishing point. This is the 1.4 parallel perspective. Let's proceed now to the second. The second is the 2 point or angular perspective. A perspective drawing using two vanishing points. In the drawing, you'll see there that there are two vanishing points. This one and the other is on that side. Lastly, the three point or oblique perspective. A perspective drawing using three vanishing points. In the drawing, we, can, we will see there that there are three vanishing points. This one, this one, and of course, the other is on that side. And that's all for perspective pictorial drawing. Always remember that a view of an object as it would be seen by an observer who looks at the object either in a chosen direction or from a selected point of view can form a pictorial drawing. Let's now proceed with another activity entitled What's Up? I know that you have learned much this day, so let's see what retains on your mind. Directions Identify the type of pictorial drawing that is shown on screen. Comment your answer below. I will give you 5 seconds to answer. Let's start. Here is the first image. Is it an axonometric, oblique, or perspective pictorial drawing? And the answer is axonometric drawing. Here is the second image. Is it an axonometric, oblique, or perspective? And the correct answer is oblique pictorial perspective. Drawing, rather. Let's proceed to the third image. Is it an axonometric, oblique, or perspective? And the correct answer is axonometric pictorial drawing. Let's proceed for the fourth image. Remember that there is a vanishing point. What type of pictorial drawing is this? Is it an axonometric, oblique, or perspective? And the correct answer is perspective pictorial drawing. The last image. What type of pictorial drawing is this? Is it axonometric, oblique, or perspective? Five seconds. And the correct answer is axonometric pictorial drawing. Did you get all correct answers? Amazing grade 8 learners. I know that you know everything about pictorial drawing. Let's have a quick review of our lesson today. Pictorial drawing has three types, including axonometric, oblique, and perspective. And in axonometric pictorial drawing, axes are needed. It includes isometric, diametric, and trimetric. In oblique pictorial drawing, scaling of objects are needed. It includes cavalier drawing, cabinet oblique, and general oblique. 
in perspective pictorial drawing vanishing point is the most important it includes parallel angular and oblique perspective for your questions or queries that you have your respective TLE teacher will surely be glad to answer them also they will guide you in accomplishing activities that would develop your thinking in pictorial drawing. And that ends our learning journey. I hope you learned a lot and thank you for joining me. Keep on studying hard and remember that in any situation, education must continue. This has been Sir Jeffrey and this is Valenzuela Live TLE 8.